this is the continuum of the of the story. When Karen Bucal realized that I was gonna be vindicated because the patient uh, 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 mother and womb and womb to twenty eight bed A, she was determined to clear me of uh, from any wrongdoing. So Karen came up to me and said, Well Jeanette, there was a misunderstanding and I said, uh, what misunderstanding? The part that you were coaching the patient to say things that never happened, she denied it, you know, of course. But in any case, I didn't want to be around them. I didn't want. I didn't feel comfortable. Uh, 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 con I, 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 did, I didn't. I was. I was totally. I was. I mean, I, I, I felt weird, and I wanted to leave the unit. I wanted to get away from them that day because I didn't feel that I. Because they would have tried something at a later time anyway. Because that, that, that plot fell, they would have tried something different. They would have tried something else. So I wanted to get away. So, uh, and I said, I'm going to go to the emergency room. And she, she was shocked. And I said, yes, because I, need, I, I, don't feel, I, don't feel, I don't feel right. I don't have high blood pressure. I don't have diabetes. And I do not have uh, a heart disease, nor any medical condition. When I went to the emergency, my blood pressure skyrocketed 190 over 94, a borderline for a stroke. If anyone with a, with a, a suppressed immune system or if I had any medical condition, if I was medically challenged, I would have gone straight to a cardiac arrest because I was totally shocked when Karen said a patient was crying because I was nasty to her. That was a very serious allegation. I love all my patients and they love me. I've never been nasty to any one of them, even though, even with violent patients. That one didn't do anything to me. Why would, I mean, I would, in any case, you know, I just went to get away and it did not happen. The patient never said that. Karen made it up. That's why she was leaning over her, telling her to say things that never happened. So I called Noel. Uh, and I said to Noel that I, want, I, I, I didn't feel right. I, 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 don't feel, I didn't feel like staying in the, in the unit. And the, the first thing was, oh, well, Jeanette, uh, uh, you want to go home or you want to go? I said, well, I'm gonna do, I want to check with the emergency first. And Noel was more concerned of me not getting paid for the remaining days. That was her base concern. Oh, well, Jeanette, you have to swipe out because when you do swipe out, they can tell how many hours that you work. So they dock the remaining hours for my tepeche, but that's okay because that was the best aha moment that I've ever experienced when I walked off the unit and leaving them with 26 patients that was, were, they were violently ill and, 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 and that was my aha moment. I went to the emergency room and the doctor said that I needed, you know, uh, a few days off. It was a Sunday and I said, when do I come back to work? He said, well, Tuesday. I'm like, well, okay. Uh, I went back to work Tuesday, but you would expect someone to apologize because you talk about New York Presbyterian. I was falsely accused, and that was a very serious allegation. And the, fat the near fatal incident was reported to the next director. That's her job to see through it that I was okay, but she didn't give a crap because you know what? She was working on something herself. Six months later, she went onto the computer. She falsified the data that I had entered and, and, and accused me of not charting patients' vital signs. Can I repeat that? The nurse director of New York Presbyterian Hospital, she fabricated the story with the nurse, uh, with the, with the nurse man, with the manager, with the nurse manager, the both falsified data that I had entered into the system and the, accused me of not charting them and I received a warning as a result okay this is not a, a, a made up story something that I'm making up there is no way that I could have done that even if I wanted to but it, it did happen that's how bad they are. That's how nasty they are. That's how evil they are. How could you do that? So that's the reason why she never apologized. She remained quiet because she was like, oh, she was vindicated, but I'm working on something myself. And that's basically it.
later